Hi. In this video I will be showing you some cool things you can do with the browser component. I will be starting a new series titled Wapla Weekly Tips. If you are interested in those kinds of videos subscribe and turn on post notification so you don't miss the next tip. On the layout page, I have already added the browser component and a modal. I want to show the modal when the user is offline and hide the modal when the user is online. We can achieve this with the browser component. In the browser component properties panel, add a dynamic event. In the browser tab select offline, then proceed to show the modal. Also hide the modal with the browser component online event. This will make the browser component to hide and show the modal when the user is online or offline. Let's preview the page. Awesome. The browser is detecting the user online and offline presence and hiding or showing the modal based on that. You can use this to notify the user when they are disconnected. Element with dynamic attributes can also use the browser component properties. For example, you can hide and show elements based on the device width. Get current URL and display it in a paragraph. For now we will hide the button when the user is online. Awesome. We can also check if the user leaves the page and perform actions based on that. The action will trigger as soon as the user leaves the page. We will use the visibility change dynamic event to achieve this. I will navigate the user to page 2 when they leave the tab. Awesome. You will notice the action triggers as soon as we left the page. In my next example, I will change the button background to dark when the device height is less than or equal to 724 pixel. We will use the browser component to achieve this. Awesome. 
The button background color changed based on the bootstrap CSS class we set. Switching back to a larger display, the button background switches back to the original color. Apart from navigating to other pages or copying text to clipboard, now you know other fancy things you can do with the browser component. But that's not all. I recommend you try new things with the browser component in order to know what may be useful in other use cases. That will be all for this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Use the comment to request a topic you would like me to cover and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you.